Hello everyone. Now, as you know, Michael Jordan fans are the worst sports fans of all time. And one of the many reasons why is because these people don't even realize that ESPN is in the tank for Michael Jordan. Pretty much every sports place in the media brainwashes people about Michael Jordan. You have Fox Sports, TNT, AM Radio, and there are more examples, but you get the point. The worst one of them all is ESPN. This place is a vast wasteland of Michael Jordan fans. This network is seriously really in love with Michael Jordan. For so many years, they have been influencing people on things that have to do with Michael Jordan. They disrespect lots of people who were in the NBA in the past, and they are not experts when it comes to the NBA. And you know what's even more strange? The Michael Jordan fans are so dumb that they think that ESPN is kind of against Michael Jordan and is kind of in the tank for LeBron James. That's how dumb these Michael Jordan fans are. The point is, ESPN is the Michael Jordan network. Let's get into the details of this. Here they are in no particular order. First, for years and years they have been influencing people that Michael Jordan is the number one guy. They have no fact to prove this and yet they act like they know for sure. Second, they come up with stupid reasons as to why he is the number one guy. For example, Michael Jordan is six for six in the NBA Finals. Third, sometimes they don't even count certain NBA stars or certain NBA years. For example, they make it seem like Bill Russell's rings do not count because he won them at a time when they think the NBA was not as nice. Fourth, when they come up with a reason as to why Michael Jordan is the number one guy, they contradict themselves and they do not apply it to every place where it can be applied to. For example, they claim Michael Jordan had the number one will to win, and yet they don't apply that to other stars who had a strong will to win. Fifth, they think it's strange if Michael Jordan is not the number one guy. They think it's a joke. They laugh about it. They act like the person who doesn't pick Michael Jordan doesn't know their NBA. Sixth, they bring him up almost every day. You can play ESPN every day, and at some point, he will be brought up. Michael Jordan hasn't been in the NBA for such a long time, and they bring him up almost every day. Seventh, they do this thing where when someone is doing well in the NBA, they compare him to Michael Jordan. They ask questions like, is that guy in the same place as Michael Jordan? Is that guy near Michael Jordan? Is that guy on the level of Michael Jordan? Has that guy caught Michael Jordan? And of course, at the end of the day, they usually never have any star that is a guy who has gone past Michael Jordan. Eighth, they really go into the world of ridiculous when it comes to Michael Jordan. For example, they made a documentary where they determined that out of all the athletes of the entire 20th century, that Michael Jordan was the number one athlete who ever played in the entire 20th century. Ninth, they start to go into really ridiculous details when it comes to Michael Jordan. For example, they will have a video like who did Michael Jordan stop the most from winning the NBA Finals. Tenth, they seem to usually hire people who pick Michael Jordan. Usually the people on TV pick Michael Jordan. Usually the directors pick Michael Jordan. Usually the producers pick Michael Jordan. Usually the writers pick Michael Jordan. Eleventh, they write tons of ridiculous random articles on Michael Jordan. For example, in May of 2020, they had an article titled the true story behind Michael Jordan's brief but promising baseball career. Twelfth, they made the last dance. They sold it as a documentary. It was a propaganda. They made that partly so that people would be more into Michael Jordan so it would make more money. Thirteenth, they do deals with companies that are with Michael Jordan. And I am sure there are more examples, but you get the point. Hey, please subscribe. And if you disagree with me on something, you can go on my program and show me your facts on whatever you disagree on. If you want to go on, let's set it up. Send me an email. The email is right there in the description section. Thank you.